This video is about calculating price elasticity of demand at each point on our demand curve. So let's get a numerical example. We have here the price from 0 to 5 and then the quantity demand from 10 till 0. So this is our y axis which is the price, this is our x axis which is the quantity. We we'll put the tickers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 for the price 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then at price of 0 quantity demand is 10. At price of 1, quantity demand is 8. At price of 2, quantity demand is 6. At price of 3, quantity demand is 4. At price of 4, quantity demand is 2. At price of 5, quantity demand is 0. Connect all these points, it will give you the demand curve. Then we need to calculate the price elasticity of demand if the price increases from 0 to 1. So we need to, cal to calculate the price elasticity of demand. So our formula of price elasticity of demand is percent change of quantity demand divided by percent change of price. We will use our midpoint formula, which is new quantity demand minus all the quantity demand divided by the average of quantity demands divided by new price minus all the price divided by the average of prices. So our price elasticity of demand is equal to new quantity demand of 8 minus 10 divided by open bracket gets the average 8 plus 10 close bracket divided by 2 divided by do the same with the price new price is 1 minus 0 divided by open bracket 1 plus 0 close bracket divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.22 divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.11. So we know that here our price elasticity of demand is negative 0.11. Why do we have a negative sign? Because we have a negative relationship between the price and the quantity demanded based on the law of demand. So we're going to use absolute value to get rid of the negative sign. So this is equal to 0.11. 0.11 is lower than 1. Therefore, I know that this one is inelastic. Then, I know here on the graph at a lower price, it's inelastic because elasticity is lower than 1. Then we'd like to calculate the price elasticity of demand if the price increases from 1 to 2. We will use the same midpoint formula of elasticity. So here I will get the new quantity demand of 6 minus 8 divided by its average, open bracket, 6 plus 8, close bracket divided by 2, divided by do the same with the price new price is 2 minus all the price 1 divided by open bracket 2 plus 1 close bracket divided by 2 this will give us negative 0.29 divided by 0.67 it will give us negative 0.43 we know that price elasticity of demand is equal to negative 0.43 we have a negative sign because we have a negative relationship between the price and the quantity demand based on the law of demand consequently we will use absolute value in order to get rid of the negative sign this will give us 0.43 it is lower than 1, therefore it is inelastic. So in the graph, I know that at the price from 1 to 2, it is inelastic. Then we'd like to calculate the price elasticity. So if you look here, so the price from 0 to 2, it is inelastic. And I give it color here blue. So we know that at this part of the graph, at the lower price, it is relatively inelastic. Then let's calculate the price elasticity of demand from 2 to 3. So our new quantity demand is 4 minus 6 divided by its average, open bracket, 4 plus 6, close bracket, divided by 2. Divide by, do the same with the price. New price is 3 minus all the price is 2, divided by open bracket, 3 plus 2, close bracket, divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.4 divided by 0.4. This will give us negative 1. We know that price elasticity of demand is equal to negative 1. We have a negative sign because we have a negative relationship between price and the quantity demanded based on Law of demand, we will use absolute value to get rid of the negative sign. So this will give us 1. I know that 1 is equal to 1. Consequently, it is unit elastic. Therefore, we know that at the price between 2 and 3, it's called unit elastic. Therefore, I will give it here a different color, which is the yellow. Why? Because here it is unit elastic. Then, let's calculate it at price from 3 to 4. So, our price elasticity of demand will be new quantity demand, which is 2 minus 4 divided by its average, open bracket, 2 plus 4, close bracket, divided by 2, divided by, do the same with the price, new price is 4, minus all the price, 3, divided by the average, open bracket, 4 plus 3, close bracket, divided by 2. This will give us negative 0.67, divided by 0.29, this will give us negative 2.33. We know that we have price elasticity of demand is equal to negative 2.33. Why do we have a negative sign? Perfect, because we have a negative relationship between price and the quantity demanded. Therefore, we will use absolute value to get rid of the negative sign. It will give us 2.33. 
we know that with price elasticity of demand, our benchmark is one. If it's bigger than one, it's elastic. Therefore, I know that between price three and four, the product is relatively elastic. Then let's do our last part. If the price increases from four to five, therefore I will get here the new quantity demand, which is zero minus all the quantity demand of two divided by gets average open bracket zero plus two close bracket divided by two divided by do the same with the price. New price is five minus four divided by open bracket five plus four close bracket divided by two. This will give us negative two divided by 0.22. This will give us negative nine. So we have price elasticity of demand is equal to negative nine. Why do we have a negative sign? Because we have a negative relationship between the price and the quantity demanded based on the law of demand. Therefore, we're gonna use absolute value to get rid of the negative sign. This is equal to nine. We know that with price elasticity of demand, our benchmark is one. If it's bigger than one, it's elastic. Therefore, we know that between price four and five, it is elastic. Consequently, between price three and five, it is relatively elastic. Therefore, based on this numerical example, we can prove that each product could be relatively elastic at a higher price, relatively inelastic at a lower price, and it's unit elastic as well. At the point or the part between relatively elastic and relatively inelastic.